This week on Art History with Jackie, we'll be looking at the history of oil painting in preparation for our oil painting demo from local artist Tara Higgins during Art on the Deck. Oil painting is the process of painting with pigments and using drying oil as a binder. Commonly used drying oils include linseed oil, poppy seed oil, walnut oil, and safflower oil. Recent advances in chemistry have produced water miscible oil paints. Oil paint was first used for Buddhist paintings in central and western Afghanistan between the 5th and 6th centuries. However, it did not gain widespread popularity until the 15th century. It is said that its practice migrated westward during the Middle Ages. Oil paint eventually became the principal medium used for creating artworks, starting in the Northern Renaissance and replacing tempera paints in the majority of Europe by the height of the Italian Renaissance. The earliest discovered oil paintings date back to 650 AD in Afghanistan. These murals were created by Buddhist artists traveling along the Silk Road. They display a wide range of pigments and binders and also include a final varnish layer. In Europe, outdoor surfaces and weaponry such as shields began to be painted in oil-based media rather than traditional tempera because they were more durable. Most European Renaissance sources credited Northern European painters of the 15th century with the introduction of painting with oil media and wood panel supports. In particular, Jan van Eyck was an influential painter in this style. These northern artists were the first to make oil the usual painting medium and explore the use of layers and glazes in their work. Around the end of the 15th century, canvas became more popular as a support. It was cheaper, easier to transport, allowed for larger works, and did not require complicated layers of gesso. Venice, where sail canvas was easily available, was a leader in the move towards canvas. The popularity of oil spread through Italy from the north, starting in Venice in the late 15th century. The process of oil painting. First, the artist prepares a wooden frame called a stretcher. The canvas is then pulled across the wooden frame and tacked or stapled tightly to the back edge. The artist applies a size to isolate the canvas from the acidic qualities of the paint. Standard sizes for oil paintings were set in France in the 19th century. These were used by most artists. Oil paint itself is made by mixing pigments of colors with an oil medium. Different colors are made or purchased pre-mixed before painting begins. Further shades are usually obtained by mixing small quantities together. Pigments may come from any number of natural or synthetic sub substances with color, like sulfides for yellow or cobalt salts for blue. Traditional pigments were based on plants and minerals, but have proven to be unstable. Oil painters traditionally applied paint in layers known as glazes. This approach has been called the mixed technique. The first coat, the underpainting, is laid down. This layer helps to tone the canvas and to cover the white of the gesso. Artists use this layer to sketch the composition. When this layer dries, the artist will then create a type of mosaic of color swatches, working from darkest to lightest. Artists in later periods began to experiment with a wet-on-wet -wet method, in which they would blend wet paint on the canvas without following the Renaissance-era approach of layering and glazing. The method was created due to artists beginning to paint outdoors. When an oil painting is finished and has dried for up to a year, an artist will often seal the work with a layer of varnish. These varnishes can be removed without disturbing the painting to enable conservation of the painting. Some famous oil paintings from the past include the Arnold Feeney portrait by Jan van Eyck, which we already saw, the Rape of Europa by Titian, the Milkmaid by Johannes Vermeer, Bal du Moulin de la Galette by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Les Demoiselles d'Avignon by Pablo Picasso. And now, let's meet up at Art on the Deck to learn more about oil painting from artist Tara Higgins. <laughs> 